the best investor in history? Is it Warren Buffett, George Soros, Peter Lynch, Steve Cohen, or Ray Dalio, or perhaps someone else entirely? Consider a man who worked as a codebreaker during the Cold War, a mathematical genius who taught at Harvard and MIT at a young age. When the National Security Agency, or NSA, recruited him for secret code work, he accepted but was later dismissed for opposing the Vietnam War. He then shifted his focus to finance, dramatically changing his life. He made an extraordinary discovery, though the details remain confidential due to agreements with his fund's employees. Over 30 years, he earned about $104 billion, achieving legendary status with an average annual return of 66%. Today, only employees and a few select investors can access the fund. It's fair to say he is the most successful investor in the world, or more accurately, the best algorithmic trader. His story is full of intrigue, mystery, and unique success. This man is Jim Simons, a mathematical genius who surpassed Warren Buffett with far less capital. His market success baffles experts. Simons loves finding patterns in financial markets, believing mathematics underpins these patterns as it does everything in the universe. He is the most successful investor in modern history. Let's explore his fascinating life story. Born in Brooklyn in 1938, Simons was an avid reader and a high achiever from a young age. Like many successful people, he loved books as a child and was passionate about mathematics. By age three, he was solving complex problems. Simons studied mathematics in college and was intrigued by how complex formulas seemed to point to a universal system. He would often lie on campus, eyes closed, pondering equations. Once, he saw two of his professors, famous mathematicians, deep in conversation at a cafe. That moment made him realize this was the life he wanted. Math, coffee, and endless debates. Simons earned his PhD in mathematics from Berkeley at 23 and then taught at MIT. A few years later, he worked on code breaking for the Pentagon and later taught at Harvard. His 1968 paper on minimal varieties in Riemannian manifolds established him as a leading geometer. He later co-authored the Chern-Simons theory in differential geometry and topology with Xingxin Chern impacting fields from quantum computing to drug development and AI. Despite his academic success, teaching no longer satisfied him. In 1964, during the Cold War, he left Harvard to work in intelligence, helping to crack Soviet codes. The Institute for Defense Analyses, or IDA, was hiring mathematicians for their analytical skills. Their slogan was, bad ideas are good, good ideas are great, no idea is bad. At IDA, Simons developed mathematical models to interpret patterns in seemingly random data and created a fast code-breaking algorithm. After being dismissed from his code-breaking job, Simons founded the hedge fund Monometrics. He aimed to uncover hidden patterns in the markets and admitted his desire to become very wealthy. Unlike many of his academic peers, he was drawn to the potential of making money. He first invited his former IDA colleague Leonard Baum to join him. Baum co-authored the Baum-Welch algorithm, which predicted outcomes by analyzing patterns without knowing the underlying parameters. Initially, Monometrics struggled, but they eventually developed a more accurate system for reading market movements. While other investors relied on intuition and news, Simons chose to input data into computers, a novel approach in the early 1980s. Monometrics was rebranded as Renaissance Technologies with a fresh perspective. They collected vast amounts of historical data, feeding it into computers to identify consistent patterns. Simons combined this data with Baum's predictive mathematics, and another team member, the award-winning algebraist James Axe, further developed the approach. They named their hedge fund Medallion, honoring their mathematical achievements. Medallion became Renaissance's most profitable portfolio, boasting annual returns exceeding 66% and over $100 billion in gains, a record in investment history. Simons never claimed to fully understand the markets, but developed a way to track even the smallest fluctuations. Medallion became the most successful hedge fund ever, with each employee investing $50 million of their own money. They hired PhDs in quantum computing, astrophysics, mathematics, and medicine, forming a team of brilliant minds.
Jim Simons' life story is truly inspiring. He is the most successful trader in modern financial history, with returns that no one else in the investment world has matched. In an era when Wall Street was dominated by stock pickers, not programmers, the idea of letting a computer make trades seemed impossible. Today, Simons ranks 49th on Forbes' list of the world's richest people, with a net worth of $28 billion. He is also renowned for his philanthropy. Simons' greatest strength may not just be his investing prowess. While he is seen as the most successful trader in modern history, he was also a masterful manager. The system and team he built were a brain trust, and without them, these successes would be questionable. From 1978 to 1990, Simons was searching for the right approach, and it took Renaissance decades to perfect its methods. His perseverance and belief in his work are exemplary. Despite his professional success, he experienced the tragic loss of two of his children at a young age. Jim Simons has gone from a child who dreamed of numbers to one of the most powerful and enigmatic figures in the world. While many books and resources detail Warren Buffett's techniques, Jim Simons remains less known, perhaps due to his reluctance to attract attention and his complex investment strategies. His life, with its highs and lows, seems fit for a movie. Maybe there is one, but I haven't seen it. If you know, please enlighten me in the comments.